G'day folks, it's Michael from Doom and Darkness bringing you another battle report and today I am here with Frankenstein, Frank, he's playing Fire Slayers, what a monster, and we've got uh, 2,000 points, your Fire Slayers against my Ogamore tribes, and it was your birthday yesterday. Yes. It was your birthday yesterday, it's my birthday tomorrow, and that means, and then Christmas the next day, and then New Year's coming up. So this is a birthday birthday, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year battle report. Uh, we haven't decided what scenario we're going to play yet. No. But we are going to be practicing for SAGT and for reference. The last time I played Mr. Frankenstein over here was at um, the last tournament. What was that called? Uh, Rumble. Rumble. And um, his fire slayers just absolutely fisted my stone horn. So I'm out for revenge and I've brought all the fat lads. So we're going to go roll up the scenario. We're going to set up the table and uh, let's go take a look at the armies. All right, folks, so before we get started, the, uh, the game type's going to be the Blade's Edge, but I just wanted to give this model his own little show off because this was painted for me by uh, Colin Pellicito. And um, the last game where I, I shouted out and said I needed a new tyrant, he uh, volunteered his services. And um, wow, he just did an absolutely fantastic job. So it's a cool story because some of Colin's friends actually put him onto my channel uh, when he was looking to learn to play Warhammer and wanted to watch some Warhammer and um, they were like, hey, check out this guy Doom in Darkness. And now all these years later, he's uh, painted a model for me. And, um, and there he is, the pride and joy of my army. So Colin did an absolutely fantastic job and um, he deserves some recognition. So if you could all give a big thank you to Colin, that would be awesome. Because I love this guy and uh, probably better get used to him because you're going to see him in quite a few of the battle reports. Awesome and fantastic. And uh, thank you very much. All right, and uh, one more quick thing before we go into the different armies. So I was fortunate enough to um, have Games Workshop send me a bunch of this merch, this free merch. So I got this cool little uh, ogre diary. I'm going to start recording all my battles in it and, um, and little notes and things like that, victory points and so forth. That is something that I'm absolutely stoked about. They sent me a T-shirt as well, which I'm not wearing today. But um, they also sent me this... Um, this Imperial Knights jumper. So it's a hoodie, just hold that hood up there if you can, Frank. And um, and it's an extra large size. I just pulled out the pack, it's brand new. And I'm gonna give that away. So if you're interested in a free, uh, a free Imperial Knight hoodie jumper from me, all you gotta do is leave a comment. Don't worry about subscribing, anything like that. Leave a comment and uh, we'll come back after Christmas and draw a winner. You can, there's a link below to where you can buy all the cool merch. And uh, thanks for, to GW for sending that out and uh, awesome and fantastic. Let's go take a look at the army. All right, so uh, let's take a look at my army. So Ogamore Tribes, 2,000 points, and we are once again Blood Gullet. Now he's got a whole bunch of screaming naked babies and I've got a whole bunch of screaming bigger, fatter naked babies. So I thought that was gonna be fair. So we're Blood Gullet Tribe. That's gonna give each of my butchers the ability to cast two spells and also no two spells from the law of gut magic. We have the Ogre Tyrant, he is going to be my general and he's a Fate Seeker, so that's, going to, that's his big name. It's gonna give him a three up arm save instead of a four up. He's got um, a nice drop of the red stuff as his command trait, that's the Blood Gullet command trait and that's gonna allow uh, units wholly within 12 inches of him to pile in six inches if they're eligible to pile in. So just so we're clear, that means that if I'm within three inches of an enemy or I have completed a charge, I can six inch pile in. I can't just six inch, six inch pile in from, uh, from anywhere. Uh, over here, we've got two different butchers. So the splatter cleaver is literally on the butcher with the cleaver because I think that's a fair way to go. He's got blood feast and rib cracker as his spells. And then the, um, the mallet over here, he's got greasy deluge and rib cracker as well. I wanna make sure. I keep that spell. I've remembered my pot, so that's fantastic. And then we've just got the fat lad. So, well, first up, we've got four uh, iron guts, and then we've got the tyrant's gut guard as well. I wanted to um, get the uh, battalion in there, just a cheap battalion, and uh, so I can get the gruesome trophy rack, which is the artifact that the um, the tyrant has. That's going to give plus one to hit for units within holy within twelve inches against monsters or heroes. Now, my opponent doesn't have many of those but it's just sort of the, the go-to default for me. So Tyrant's Gut Guard there, and then we've got two units of 12 Ogre Bulls. Just bring in that raw strength. I'm gonna hit these Fire Slayers head on. They're probably gonna pile in first and kill me before I get to do anything. 
but then we're going to do it again with the next unit and it's going to be fun and then up the front we've got three units of little doom bots so three units of three ogre bulls and um, they're just to get in and scrum with anything that tries to get around me or take me on the flank so that's the army i'm not sure it's going to be last time i played against them i had all the stone horns this time all the gluttons maybe something in the middle is a better idea but uh, let's have some fun so let's go take a look see what frankenstein's brought let's go take a look at these fire slaves all right frank so this is why we call you frankenstein the monster because you're playing fire slaves what have you got mate well i'm taking the typical hermdar so uh yep. the uh general is the rune father on magmadroth yeah he's got the command trait for hermdar warrior and dominant mm -hmm. um any fire slayers wholly within 12 inches of him are negative one to wound yeah um, he's also got the Tyrant Slayer Artifact, which is also from Hermdar. I reroll wound rolls for attacks that target heroes, and unmodified sixes to heroes deal with mortal wound in addition. Right, is... so that's when you're attacking me, not me attacking you. Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. when I'm attacking you. Yeah. Um, I've got a Auric uh, Rune Master. Okay. He's got the Prayer of Ash. Right. Um, basically gives a unit plus one to save. Right. Um, I've also got a Rune Smiter. He's got uh, the Prayer Ember Storm. Mm -hmm. I can cast it on Half Guard or Volkites, and they can run and charge in the same turn. Okay. Uh, Battlesmith. Yep, awesome. He's got the No Obsidian Icon, so units uh, wholly within 12 inches of him. On a 4-up, I ignore any magic effects done to them. Lucky I didn't play my Zench. Lucky you didn't play your Zench. <laughs> yep. Uh, I've also got these... A uh, block of 20 half guard Berserkers. Yeah, with um, pole axes. With the pole axes, dealing mortal wounds on the six. They're part of the Lords of the Lodge with the Auric Rune is, is it two mortal wounds per roll Two of mortal six? wounds per roll of a six. Lovely, lovely. And so because they're Lords of the Lodge, if they start holy, um, combat holy within 12 inches of any hero from the Lodge, yeah. they can pile in and fight again later on in the turn. Right, so Hermdar is going to let you activate and start and fight at the start of the combat Before phase. Any Your combat that, phase, yeah. phase and my combat phase. Yeah. And um, and so everything here is Hermdar? Yes. So uh, except, except for the, the KO. Yes. So everything here can pile in and fight. Uh, the half guard and the Volkites, they're the only ones that are affected by Okay, the and any unit of those. So right? yeah, basically my battle line. Can right. And it's a, you've got to spend a command point can to do that. spend a command point. All right, and then um, because you're Lords of the Lodge, even if you've piled in and fought with them first, um, later on in the same same, ba yeah. same battle turn bound round, you can then pile in and fight again. Yes. Holy moly! Okay. So you, you um, in your turn you um, combo it with the Home Dark Command ability. Yeah. You fight before any units are picked. Yeah. And then you can pick that unit to fight its normal phase, so you get the. Yeah, two, so, two so if, if you had three command points, could you make three units fight first? Yes. And then only one fight again afterwards? or Yeah, yeah. it's only the Lords of the Lodge okay. um, units. Yep. Uh, so, so even though I've got some half guard over here, they can't fight twice. Right, because they're not in the Lords of the Lodge. Because yeah. they're not in the Lords of the Lodge. All right, great. Awesome. So what else have we got? I've got a unit of uh, 10 half guard. They've just got regular axes. Broad axes. Uh, yeah, they're broad axes. They don't do the mortal wounds, but they're flat two damage with rend. Yep. I've got a unit of 10 Volkites. They're just, um, they've got the uh, war picks and shields, so yep. they get plus one to their save. And if they successfully complete a charge, yep. They hurl their shields Captain America style yeah. and deal mortal wounds on a six. Yeah, they and then they can pile in and fight when they die as well, like uh, once per game? Yes, once per game, um, at the start of the phase I go, I'm, they're going to fight when they die, yeah. and then they... Yeah, that wrecked me last time, especially when you rolled that six for your rune. So, yes. And then we've got two gun haulers. I've got two gun haulers. Right, which, one, which one killed Doom last time? Uh, this one over here. Um, guy, last huh? time he managed to drop a bomb... And deal three mortal wounds to Doom and kill him off before Doom ever had a yeah. chance to fight. Yeah, that's Doom on the Stonehorn got blown up by this uh, this damn gun hauler. So uh, revenge will be mine. So that's awesome. Anything else you need to cover off on? Uh, just the 100 point Grimwrath Berserker just yeah. in the middle there. He just, looks like just, anything else. Just a little but, psycho. Just but a little he's, psycho. Yeah, he, on a two up, he, I think he fights at the um, again at the end of combat and if he dies he yeah. will fight again so he could fight three freaking times that guy yes um, he's basically there to help give the 
yep. half guard there for uh, four plus ignore yep. and for hero sniping. So all right, we're playing the blades edge again. So this is a scenario that you guys are probably pretty familiar with now. Uh, six objectives on the table, and uh, the the six inch circles from these uh, actually touch almost interlink. So it's. Um, uh, we did have the Honest Wargamer ones, but um, we left them at the last tournament. Or you left them at the last yeah, tournament. Yeah, I, I left them at the last tournament. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, awesome and fantastic. We're going to roll off. We're going to start setting up, and we'll come back and have a look at it after deployment. All right, folks. So, uh, this is what it looks like after deployment. Let me take you through it from left to right. So, looking at Fire Slayers first, we've got a gun hauler hiding behind this overgrown, overgrown piece of terrain, just staying out of line of sight. In the center, we have his Lords of the Lodge, the pole axes with the rune slayers, and then also the um, the support, so his banner and all the good stuff, and another gun hauler behind that terrain, ready to fly high, come down and execute my heroes, no doubt. We have a priest here in front of the, uh, he summoned the pizza oven up out of the icy ground, which is cool, and the right hand sides and bulkites over here in ambush. We have the uh, dude with the key. What's his name? The Rune Smiter. The Rune Smiter, and also 10 Volkites with broad axes. Let's take a look at, uh, at my side. So on the right-hand side, three Doombots holding the flank, and then we have a cluster of Ogre Bulls in the center here. The tribes are united. They have formed, and they're coming to eat some stunty. So uh, both units of 12 Ogre Bulls backed up by their respective butchers ogre tyrant there uh, in the center ready to do what he needs to do with his gut guard behind him making sure none of those sneaky gun haulers or broad axe wheeling fire slayers getting behind me and chop him up then on the left hand flank two units of doom bots they might look like they're out there just hanging out but they are no doubt going to decide the game so that's it um Frankenstein has finished deploying. I don't like calling you Frankenstein. It's a horrible nickname. But um, Frank's finished deploying first, and uh, he has given me the first turn naturally. So let's go. Ogre more tribes, turn one. All right, folks, so I just thought I'd captured my hero phase, and um, what happened? Well, something I forgot to mention when I was doing my list review. I'm at 1970 points, which means I get a triumph. We rolled it up, and uh, that's going to give me the re-roll uh, hits once per um, once per game so uh, that's awesome uh, hopefully I don't forget it and then also I do have the prismatic palisade in my army now I didn't have it on the table because well it's not painted and I thought I'll just bring it up if, if it ever comes up and I got it off straight away so prismatic palisades up uh, blocking the table we got um, blood feast off on this unit here mystic shield off onto uh, the same unit and then the palisades up so uh, that's going to be the end of my hero phase just some relevant things there uh, we'll go and do movement, come back and have a look at it. All right, folks, so uh, end of my turn one, and uh, we don't do anything exceptional. We just pull these um, ogres on the right-hand side, just around the back. I am worried about those gun haulers, of course. They are a pain in the bum. We move our conglomerate, the united hordes of ogre gluttons, up in the center, and uh, obviously I'm facing a potential double turn here. Uh, let's see how far these fire slayers can get. And then the left-hand side, we run these doom bots up. So I'm only gonna capture still my three objectives in, um, in my side of the board, putting me on three points, which is lovely. And uh, we're gonna go into Fire Slayers turn one. So let's see what he does. All right, folks, so uh, Fire Slayers turn one after movement and um, Volkites on the right move up onto the objective, sitting pretty. And then the Magma Drop, the Lords of the Lodge with the pole axes move up in formation just in front of the Prismatic Palisade. Uh, the shocking thing on the left hand side, whoa, he's fallen perfectly into my trap. Both gun haulers redeploy here nine inches away from the um, uh, the doom bots and then he brings up his key master along with his uh, 10 half guard berserkers with broad axes ready to charge. So he's going to try and get that nine inch charge into those doom bots and uh, potentially shoot them to pieces as well and capture the two objectives on the left hand side of the board. So. Uh, that's the movement phase done. We're going to do shooting now, right? Yep, and then um, and then into charging. So we'll come back and have a look at it 
once we've done shooting and then charges and then if there was any combat to resolve. All right, folks, so um, this is what happened in the shooting in the charge phase. Well, you can see already not a lot. So he opened fire with the Doom Slayer gun hauler onto this unit of Doom bots over here. Did the one shot that does, uh, what's that weapon called with the one shot? The drill cannon. The drill cannon and missed, so that was awesome. Opened fire with his carbines onto the second unit of Doom bots on the left and uh, didn't do anything either. The right hand gun hauler opened fire with all of its blasters. He got two hits and wounds through to me with two different weapon profiles and um, I rolled sixes each time for my armor save. So big thank you very much to the Heralds of War for um, looking after my Doom bots there and they survived. Over here, the, um, the half guards uh, charged, rolled a five. Spent a command point to re-roll it, rolled another five. So he might be using up all his bad luck at the very beginning, which is like bad for me later in the game, but, um, but it's good for me so far. So that's it. That's where the end of round one is going to end. Now, um, I don't think you're capturing that objective off me, are you? Uh... Cause uh, I've got uh, like six dudes on it. So yeah. yeah, so no, so you're gonna get three points. I've got three points, everything is a draw, and we're gonna roll for initiative right here in the center. One, two, three, go. I rolled a two, you rolled a four. Oh my God. I'm taking it. He's taking the double turn. Let's go for the double. All right, double. Fire Slayer's taking the double. Well, let's come back and look at it after the Fire Slayer's hero phase. All right, folks, so while um, Frank moves his models, we'll just go through his hero phase. So um, he got, uh, he used the room to give him reroll ones to hit, and uh, he didn't roll a six, thank God. So. Uh, no extra bonus there. And then he used two prayers. So the first prayer was um, a plus one armor save to this unit of fire slayers. And then he raised the banner as well. So that unit of fire slayers is on a three up armor save with a four up after save coming in at me, which is horrible. And then um, over here, he got the prayer off to make them run and charge. So he can't possibly fail that charge now. So he's just moving in now, getting ready to um, oh, try and charge me and do damage and do horrible things to me and um, that's fine. So we'll come back after movement. Uh, I guess he's gonna move, probably try and charge in here and then charge across there. And uh, let's see where these gun haulers are gonna go. So we'll show you after we've uh, resolved it all. All right, folks, so um, Fire Slayer's turn two after the movement, shooting and charge phase. This is what it looks like. And well, what happened? Both the boats lined up like a firing squad, open fire into the Doom bots killed one ogre bull. And as you can see, yes, those stupid babies made the charge. They rolled a big fat nine and uh, and got in there. I don't think these doom bots are long for the world. On the right hand side here, his big unit of fire slayers rolled a seven, getting them in there a bit strung out. And uh, he does have the option to activate first, pile in around, draw these guys in. Then when I go in a fight, activate again and, and chop me up. But he's unsure if he wants to do that or not. And, um, and that's really where we're at. So we're gonna resolve these combats. He's trying to decide who he's going to attack with first. We'll come back and have a look at it after at the end of the round after combat. All right, folks, so this is the end of um, Fire Slayers turn two after combat. What happened? Well, let's just start off over here with the simple one. All my Doom bots got killed. So that's sad. These broadswords just chopped them to bits and um, the Polax uh, Hermdars just chop them to bits as well. So, uh, my God, fire slayers are so tricky for me to get my head around. So he didn't activate to start fight first at the start of the combat phase. Just did a normal pile in and killed the three Doom bots. Then uh, I thought to myself, aha, he hasn't used his, his, his fight first, so he can't fight twice, but no, the Lords of the Lodge will allow him to fight twice. So I piled in and um, attacked with only three Ogre Bulls. I was out of 12 inches of my general. I couldn't do my six inch pile in. So just three inches. Actually, three Ogre Bulls just put out a ton of attacks because they got Blood Feast on them and uh, did one damage. I was biting like crazy. I was hitting with my clubs, but unfortunately a three up, four up on those guys is pretty hard to deal with at the moment. And then he's like, surprise, big fatty, I'm fighting again. And I was like, oh no, what an idiot you are doing. But that's fine. He did um, 11 wounds through to me and uh, only killed two ogres. And that's why ogres are awesome. So at the end of Fire Slayer's turn two, he's gonna take this objective over here on the left-hand side. And of course I burnt his objective there when, um, when he won the initiative. So he's gonna score three points this turn. So this one on the left, these two in the center. He's not taking mine here because I've still got 20 bodies to his 15. As we go into Ogamore Tribes, turn two. 
All right, folks, so um, Ogamore Tribe's turn two, and we're doing the dumb thing, okay? So uh, this unit of Hermdar, this unit has never been killed, but I'm going to kill it. So that's my mission for today, and that's what we're going to do. So hero phase, what do we do? We do, we've got another command point. We got Mystic Shield off on this unit. We didn't get Blood Feast off, though. That's the one that I really wanted. Um, but we did get Greasy Deluge and Rib Cracker off on this unit. So uh, they were minus one to hit from the Prismatic Palisade. Minus one to hit from Greasy Deluge, and now their armor saved is worsened by one as well. We've converging with our other unit of Ogre Bulls, and uh, we've got these ones already in combat. On the right hand side, we just move up into uh, Miskul, just push up a little bit, and the Iron Guts and uh, the Butcher just move up. I'll just move my heroes so that everything can keep everything within the holier than 12 ranges, and um, we're just going to go for it. I'm playing for the double, and I don't care what's going to happen next. We're just going to get in there and uh, and do some fighting. So we're going to do charges. Uh, I've got a bit of a plan. I'll show you what it looks like after charges and then we'll go do the combat. So wish me luck. All right, folks. So this is after the charge phase and um, we've made it in with the blue balls. We rolled an eight and uh, did four mortal wounds to him, killed one of his uh, fire slayers. And I was just tagged up with one up here on the on the corner and keeping my guys far out. So all of these models here are the closest models to these guys. So they have to pile in this way. They can't go out that way. And um, I've still got a six inch pile in with these balls. So even if he fights first um, with Hermdar, he'll probably smash these these yellow guys a fair bit, but then I should be able to, you know, pile in and give him a good whacking before he gets to go me again. So that's the plan. Uh, let's see how it plays out. I mean, he's debuffed as hell. There's nothing more I can do. Um, I'm on the charge. I'll be completely buffed, and I'm um, pretty sure I'm going to lose still. But um, but I've got to give it a shot. So that's it. Let's go into combat and um, see what happens. All right, folks. So, um, well, let's take a look at it. So this is Ogamore Tribe's turn two after combat. And what happened? Well, of course, Fire Slayers spent a command point piled in activated to pile in and fight first they uh, uh didn't do that many wounds on the first so these are my total dead three ogres from each unit so um, piled in first uh, basically all the attacks went on to the um the gray tattoo guys uh did a couple of wounds but um not as much and he had some of his attacks divided against the blues uh, i then attacked with my um my gray guys and I'm spending all my command points. So both of my units of bulls were rerolling to wound, and I burnt my triumph on the blues to reroll to hit as well. So um, like everything I could, and um, and this is what it looks like. So how many are dead? Oh no, I'll talk through the sequence while you count up the dead. So I fought with the yellows, um, and this unit was largely still, you know, like five inches away, except for one or two. He then activated pilot and again, most of his attacks going against my yellows, um, a few more now on the second part and going against the blues. Uh, so I lost. He did, well, there's still 12, it's still 24 wounds you to did, me. He did exactly 24 wounds to me. I lost right. 12. So he did 24 wounds to me across two pile ends and attack with one unit of Hearthguard Berserkers. I did 24 wounds to him as well, exactly, with 800 points of Ogre Balls, two command points, buffs, debuffs. Basically, my whole army. And did there was the same 20. Points, yeah, so he's 400 points. Oh, he does have some support, I guess. So, um, but yeah, so it's a bit of a, a slug fest, but he lost a lot. Now, he's immune to Battleshock because he's wholly within 12 of my objective. And uh, I've lost three on Bravery 6, 8. Uh, I could lose some guys, I think, here. So we'll roll Battleshock now. So um, Battleshock, and what have I got left? My beast banners have gone. So, all right, so for this blues over here, roll a five, so they're fine. And these guys over here, I need to roll a six for something to run. And um, no, that's good because I'm feeling brave because I'm eating. So that's gonna be the end of my turn. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I wasn't expecting to kill the whole unit or even do that much, but, um, oh God, that's a, a lot to deal with. So uh, the end of my turn, I'm only gonna score two points. Yep, so putting me on five to your six, is yep. that right? And we roll off for initiative. Four turn, three going into the double turn. One, two, three. He gets, uh, what'd you get? Two. I got a two as well. So it, you get to choose. Because whoever got to choose last time gets to choose again. So you um, get to choose. To. Okay, Frank's going to take it. So fire slays, turn three. 
Alright folks, Fire Slayer's turn 3 means I get to take away an objective and naturally we have to take away this one because we don't want him those guys are going to come across the table and um, I don't want him to easily score them so uh, only 4 objectives left on the table Alright folks, so um, Fire Slayer's turn 3 hero phase and I'm just going to have a winch right now guys this dude over here, right, he's got a prayer goes off on a 4 plus and gives plus 1 to armor save my prayers, which I don't have in this army, but normally don't do anything near as good as that and just that alone. So I just thought I'd bring that up. It didn't go off. He rolled a dice. He rolled a two. Glorious. So these, these fire slayers here have got a five up armor save at the moment. So juicy, juicy. The prismatic palisade went off and hit my own blue bulls. God damn it. So uh, they're negative one to hit, but and such is life. And then we come over here on the right hand side and the guy with the rune what did, what did he, he do? He did runic empowerment. Runic empowerment. On a three. On a three plus. Gives re -roll wound rolls. Which gives these guys re-roll wound rolls to put, put things in perspective. What's the range on that prayer as well? Uh, 12 inches, but 18 inches if he's got the forge key, which he's got right, right. in his hand. Uh, so holy within 18. Holy within 18 right. inches. As opposed to my command ability that for, is forced upon me with um, by being in the tribe. So his tribe lets him fight twice. My tribe <laughs> lets me have a command ability to spend a you know, to spend a command point to re-roll to wound, right? So and but let's just you know like to like that prayer goes off on a three plus and re-roll wounds. My normal prayers is like you can move further or heal d three wounds or something like that. That's completely fine. crazy, but it's all fine because they're going to come in. They're going to do some damage, but. Are they um, Lords of the Lodge? They're not. Those They're guys, not they? Lords of the Lodge. It's just no. them ones. Okay. All right. They'll fight first. They won't fight twice. These guys will fight twice. And um, and everything's going to be fine. Everything's fine. Let's go, Frank. Bring it on. Fire Slayers. Turn two. Movement phase. Charges. And uh, let's Which come and have a look at it. Butcher's going to die. Oh, in your dreams. <laughs> right. So after the movement phase, this is what it looks like. The um, Hearthguard Berserkers with the axes are three inches away from my lads. Getting ready to charge in, Magnadroth and Heroes as well, pushing around that Prismatic Palisade, getting ready to push in. We've got Volkite Berserkers and a Grimrath Berserker heading for my Butcher. They need to roll six inch charge to get that Grimrath Berserker in. Uh, Frank's got three command points, so plenty of re-rolls. And the Gun Haulers, redeploy, fly high, nine inches away from my Doombots, ready to take them out as well. So. It's going to be a really interesting round, guys. Um, I mean, naturally, I'm going to take some damage, but uh, if it doesn't go too bad for me, and then I win the double turn, what a glorious day it will be. So um, let's go. We're going to do charge, or we'll do shooting. He's going to shoot at my Doom Bots, no doubt. And then um, we're going to do charges and combat. We'll come back and have a look at it after that. All right, folks. So after the charge phase, this is what happens. So we'll movement charge phase and... Um, well, let's just have a look over here. First things, hero phase, I mean movement phase, both of these boats teleport down, open fire on the doom bots and did nothing, which is great because so far, pardon me, the uh, gun haulers aren't doing anything. In the previous games, they've done a lot. Uh, here in the center, uh, the Grimrath made a charge into the, um, the butcher and then he charged with the Volkites and failed. So he spent a command point to reroll that. They charged in, they slung all their shields at me and they didn't do any mortal wounds. So. That's fine, and um, my Iron Guts are in range as well to pile in and murder some dudes. So, um, but he's he has activated them this turn to pile in and fight when they die. Over here, the Magma Droth has made it in, and uh, that unit of uh, Hearthguard has charged in and uh, is surrounding me, getting ready to chop me up. Now he's got two command points, and he can activate both of these units here to fight first, so it's going to be a lot of damage. So we're going to resolve these combats. We'll come back and have a look at it then. Right, so um, Andrew has so spent two command points to fight first. He's activating the pole arms and then also the Volkites over here. So he thinks those Volkites are just going to get chopped up. This way they get to fight first, and then if I chop them up with my Iron Guts, you get to fight again, right? So, yeah. and Volkite's in this situation pretty good. The rune you've got up is negative one rend as well, isn't it? Yeah, everything yeah. is negative. It's like everything gets plus one to their rend. So yep. these guys will be rend two, Oof. these guys are rend one, these guys are rend two, and some of his rend is pretty nasty. Yeah, I found out last time the Volkites with rend two 
fighting twice, like fighting first, and then when they die as well, is actually like they're pretty good. Yeah, but they're especially, especially yeah, they're no ones. joke. Yeah. So, um, all right, let's do it. All right, folks. So round three after combat, and uh, well, it was brutal. So what happened? Well, he uh, activated both with both the Volkite and then also his uh, Flail. Uh, Berserkers first and uh, use those to attack. That's fine. Did some damage. I used both my balls to pile in attack. I really wanted to finish off this unit. I managed to kill another five, so I got 10 wounds through. I did spend a command point to reroll wounds onto the blue balls, but um, wasn't able to finish the unit off, unfortunately. Uh, he piled in attack with this unit here, the uh, Berserkers, and killed, what, two, three of my balls and uh, drew my butcher in. My butcher came in with a fury and chopped, well, one and a half up. He got six wounds through though. Over here, the um, the Volkites piled in and attacked, drew my, my iron guts in, did some wounds to my iron guts. I came in, attacked back and uh, killed a bunch of them. They piled in, what is there, the six dead Volkites? Six dead Volkites. Yep, he then piled in with those six, attacked my, attacked my iron guts and killed one of them. So that's sad, but here mainly the Grimwrath Berserker attacked me, put four wounds onto my butcher. Uh, I did try to smash his skull in with my tenderizer, but um, only got two wounds through. He rolled a two plus, piled in and attacked. It did another four wounds and killed my butcher. So that is really horrible and sad. So we're gonna go into battle shock now. Uh, so I've lost five of these ogre bulls, the gray bulls. So they're bravery six plus two because they're in combat. So I rolled a three and five is eight. They're six plus two is eight, so they're okay. So then with the blue guys, I've lost four, and I rolled a four, and I've lost four, and they're bravery eight, so they're fine as well. So none of them are running. The Iron Guts over here only lost one, they're bravery seven, they're fine. And um, that's it, he's Battleshock immune because he's a cheating fire slayer, and uh, that's it. So now we're gonna go into Ogamore Tribes turn three. I'm down on numbers, boys, but I'm not out of the fight. Let's see what we can do. All right, folks, so um, this is Ogamore Tribes turn three in the hero phase, what happened? Well. First off, we got uh, Ribcracker off on the flower unit again, so that went through, that's awesome. There's only six wounds left there, and uh, they're a negative one to their armor save. We got Blood Feast off on the Iron Guts as well, so they're ready to murder. And then, uh, and really, that's about it. We've got one command point up our sleeve. Pardon me, I retreated the Ogre Bulls out of, um, the Grey Bulls out of combat here. They're just gonna get killed. Um, he doesn't have any command points to pile in and fight first, but I'm up on bodies on the objectives, and I've got an opportunity where I can steal the objectives. So I'm going to go for the objective play. Hopefully I can kill that unit in combat this turn and then I'll win the double turn and I might be able to steal the game that way. I've got some clever ideas up my sleeve. We'll see how we go. So I got my butcher and everyone out of combat. They didn't need to be in combat. They don't need to die. We ran this unit of doom bots over here on the right hand side. We ran them up. They're going to capture this objective at the rear right. He does have one Volkite here in range of this objective though. So I do need to make sure that I'm um, blocking that so my tyrant moves in which is fine they can't pile in and fight in this turn when they die so uh, i might be able to just um kill them off if i charge but i probably just shouldn't charge so that's what it looks like after movement we're going to charge now we'll come back and have a look at it after combat oh and i'm going to shoot with my tyrant as well pew, pew. all right folks so um after the charges in combat this is what it looks like and whew, it's getting close so what happened well the um iron guts made the charge into the three hearth guard berserkers I rolled a nine and I got one mortal wound through to him. Uh, we then went, I didn't charge my tyrant in. If I had charged my tyrant in, although he can actually do okay, he's not as bad, his attack profile is not as bad as you kind of think, but um, if he, he's only got one within range of this objective. So if he then piled a few in and I whiffed, he, I wouldn't, he could capture this objective or stop me scoring it. I didn't want that to happen. So we stayed out of combat over there. We opened fire on the, um, on the Grimwrath Berserker, but didn't get anything through. Come combat, the Iron Guts, well, that's what you do, folks. When you need work done, you leave it up to the Iron Guts. They've got Blood Feast on them, and uh, those measly three Hearthguard Berserkers stood no chance. I did um, 15 damage to them, I think, after saves. After saves, 15 damage, and then... Uh, they died exactly. They died exactly to the number. So that was cool. His, um, his Magma Droth then attacked and didn't really do anything. He whiffed this turn. Last turn, he went to town. This turn he didn't do much. And that now that those hearth guard were free, I could pile in with these bulls this way, putting my three bulls within six inches of that objective. He's got three models, I've got three models, I count as two. 
I take that objective. So at the end of the round, I'm going to score all four of these objectives, giving me four points. So it's now currently nine to eight my way. At the end of round three, as we roll off for initiative, going for, I won't even say it, but let's go. One, two, three, go. I got a one. You got a one. It stays the same. No way. Oh my God. All right, folks. So here at phase, what happened? Well, um, the uh, Ash Storm, the plus one armor save spell didn't go off again. And uh, the run and charge prayer didn't go off. But these guys are re-rolling to wound. Is that right? Yes. Um, for the, the move... forest exploded. Yep, we, he turned this into a volcano and exploded, but didn't do anything. And then we, in the movement phase, instead of flying high, he just moved up. He put all the shooting from these two gun haulers into the, uh, the doom bots, killed one of them. So that's sad. One of them was sitting on two wounds. He made his Grimwrath and uh, these Volkites three inches away from my uh, tyrant. He threw a few hand axes at him, but they just bounced off his armor because he's a fate seeker and he is awesome. And then over here, the uh, Grimwraths just move up. He threw all of his hand axes at my butcher and got one wound through. The Magma Droth have vomited D6 mortal wounds onto my uh, bulls and got five wounds through. So that's sad as well, just turned one into a pile of bubbling melted fat and uh that's where the shooting ends we're going to go into charges now do you know where you're going to charge frank yes i'm going to charge the grim wrath grim wrath okay let's go double ones please five Five. inches he's in bring it we're going to charge the volkites okay see where they're going to go they're going to go five five so he thinks he can take all the objectives this turn so he's going to go that way all right. So that's uh, that's a rookie mistake. That is. As a plan. Yeah. No mortal wounds. No mortal wounds. The shields and then. The uh, gun hauler over here is going to charge. Oh, the gun hauler's charging. Yeah, they're going to drop their bombs. Oh, eight. How do you need drop your bombs if I charge you? Nope. Oh, okay. This gun hauler's going to charge. Yeah. Double oh, ones. Where are you He's going? Gonna Nowhere. Um. Guard, okay, half guard here and eight inches. Come on, bro, get in around it. All right. Hmm. 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 That's problematic. <laughs> That's not good. All right, so that looks like all the charges, and then we've got some combats to do. Where are you going to start first, mate? Oh, jeez. Um... Don't make a mistake. I suppose uh, at the beginning of the combat phase, I'm going to allow the Volkites over there to fight first for a command point. Yep, so you're going to spend a command point to activate them to fight yep. first. And All I'm right. going to see if I drop bombs on you. Alright, All right, folks, so end of the combat phase and um, well, this is what it looks like. What happened? Well, let's start off, um, let's start off here. The Magma Droth killed the unit of three balls. So that secures that that objective for him. So he's gonna score one point for that one. He actually activated with his Volkites to attack first and uh, killed one ball. And then he chose the Grimwrath Berserker to um, activate next. So he spent a command point to activate the Volkites and then the Grimwrath because he really wanted to kill my Tyrant. It was critical that he kills the Tyrant so he would take both of those objectives. Uh, He didn't do any damage to me, so ha ha ha. Over here, uh, that let my Iron Guts attack first. They piled in, put all their hurting, they still got Blood Feast onto that unit of Hearthguard Berserkers. And um, I think I only killed like three. So my rolling, they're at negative one to wound from that Magma Droth still. It's really, if I had a way to shoot that Magma Droth off, it would have saved me a lot of um, hurt because that negative one to hurt, uh, hit, sorry, negative one to wound over all these phases, turns, has hurt me a lot. But um, that's fine. He then chose to attack with, I think that was then his Magma Droth attack, killed those bulls, and uh, I then tried to chop him up. Now I got six wounds through, uh, three wounds through, doing six damage with my, um, my uh, splatter cleaver, and he saved them all on four up, so that was terrible. But this is how it looks at the end of the, um, at the, end of the phase, and well, importantly, my Tyrant attacked that Grimwrath and killed him, he then piled and attacked me and put five wounds through to me. So that's kind of scary, but everything is okay. Wait, look at that mystical terrain. Sit right there. I'm not taking those five wounds. This was the last thing that we suffered. We're looking for sixes. You're taking the five. Oh, that come was... on. Yeah, okay. We're taking, taking that five. five. Fair enough. We're taking the five. And um, 
That's the end of Fire Slayer's turn. So he's not going to capture this one. Okay, he sure. doesn't capture this one. No, that one's not there anymore. But he, yeah, I removed it. I shouldn't have removed it, right? You shouldn't have removed I it. I shouldn't have removed it. So um, I capture. So you capture those two objectives. So ten. 10 to my nine, to nine as we go into Ogre's turn four. All right, folks. So uh, Ogremore Tribe's turn four and... Um, here at phase, what did we do? Well, we got Blood Feast off onto our Iron Guts. I'll explain why everything is where it is in a second, but we got Blood Feast onto the Iron Guts, and then we dispelled the, um, the Palisade as well in the reverse order. We then went into the movement phase, and we um, retreated and ran my Iron Guts. We spent a command point to make him go six, and we retreated out of combat here, all the way up there, so that I'm going to recapture that um, command point from the Magma Droth. We then retreated and um, ran our butcher and also our unit of two ogres here that were in combat with the little stunties here, the, the berserkers, across here to the right-hand side to get within range of that objective. And that allowed my uh, tyrant then to move off up here within range of objective four and retreated that ogre bull out of combat as well. So it's four to four. I'm probably going to charge in there and um, or if I can't kill one with shooting and take that. But at the moment, I should be able to take all of the objectives this turn so the only ch uh so i'm going to shoot with uh, my tyrant into these he's got four guys on the objective i've currently got four models as well but i need to take it from him so i need to kill one of these so we're going to shoot if i don't kill any with shooting then i'll charge him with the tyrant and try and take it from there so that will put me um that will put me up in points again on him and uh by two right because you're up by one it's yep, it's, yep 10 to nine this will put me up by two and uh We'll play it out from there. So let's go do the shooting. Let's just do the shooting on camera. Let's go. All right, feeling risky. So Tyrant, shooting into the ball cuts. Hitting on a four. One hit, wounding on a three. Wounds, negative one rend. Saved. Saved. What is that dice? Oh, it's five. Neg one rend. Yeah, they get four from the shields. All right. Five. All right, so I'm gonna have to charge them, boys, and um, We'll come back and resolve it up. Right, but uh, it's that that shield actually only works for melee weapons. So that one went through and, um, oh, we did two damage. Two damage, so one whole guy dies, one wound carries across. And that means I take the objective without having to charge in because I am brave. You're a coward. I'm a coward, but, a I'm, coward. but I'm, a, I'm a coward ogre beating fire slayers, so I'm happy. So <laughs> that's the end of, that's my cheeky son. Say hello, Noah. <laughs> and um, that's it. So end of turn four, I'm going to score three more points, yep. uh, putting me on um, 12. 12 to your 10. And now, oh my God, we are going to roll for, I am thinking though, if I did charge in and kill them, like I don't think you would be able to get that objective back at all. Oh, and you're like, try me. You're like, bring it. What have you got? You got five wounds there. And they've got, what, a five up? Mm -hmm. So my rend, and I am a tyrant after all. Come on, you've got to, you've got to keep up the story. So, you've been running so away all game. The choice, gotta... the choice right now, guys, do I guarantee to win the game? Or do you risk it all? Right, or do I risk it all for glory? You risk all for glory. Risk all for glory, he says. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to charge the tyrant in. That's cocked. And that's, uh, oh, that's cocked, <laughs> is it? All right, let's go. Four inches, that's all we need. All right. Right choice to make because uh, look at that. He just came in, rolled with a thunder mace, boom. And I guess you could say they've been thunderstruck. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself. Right, I'm happy. So uh, that's the end of the turn, 12 to nine and um, 12 to 10, sorry. And now we've got this, this initiative. So rolled double ones last time and you got it. Rolled double twos last time and you got it. And can't be, can't be this again. Oh my God, he got a two. And I got a four. It's me, and I'm taking it, folks. So going into round five, I just wanted to show you this on camera. I get a command point. Now, um, because I'm two points up, there's only two objectives left on the board, which means, and I currently have them. So if I just sit there and don't do anything in this turn, um, I've automatically won the game. If I basically don't, like, I can just do anything I want and I automatically win the game at this point. If um, Frank had won the initiative, he would have had a chance to get both of those objectives off me and then try and position and tie things up in combat to so he, if he did take those two it would be a tie um and then try to stop me getting the one back or one back in my turn and then you know maybe 
calling it a draw that way. But um, because I have won the priority, I've just automatically won the game. I hold that objective. I don't need to charge in there and do anything. And um, over here, you know, so, but the thing is, is that last time we played, this particular gun hauler killed my stone horn. Yeah. Right? Dropped a bomb on him. Dropped a bomb on him and killed him. And so, as long as this guy stays there, I hold the objective. I currently hold it 2 1. They're just going to stand there. Iron Guts just going to stand there, not do anything because. Oh, you know, so you're going to charge him? I'm going to charge everything into this guy, everything I can afford into this gun hauler, and I'm going to kill him. So, get prepared to drop your bombs. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Butcher is going to go into him. He's got, what, seven, eight wounds? He's got three wounds left, man. Exactly He's... the same that was last time with his stone horn. Doesn't matter. If, 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 you kill, if you kill this tyrant, I don't think I should charge him in because, oh, I don't know. Because he's a brand new model. Colin just painted him for me. He looks amazing. Well, he needs glory then. He needs you think to he should die? He does need to reclaim the name. Let's go, Colin. Let's go, Mini Doom. Let's go take that guy out. So we're going to move. We're going to charge these guys in. We're going to shoot him with our guns. We're going to charge in, impact hit him, and then we're going to chop him up. So let's go get it done. All right, all right, all right folks. So this is the end of the um, end of the round, end of the turn, and. Um, Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. He's dead. Doom charged in. Everyone charged in. We opened fire with our pistols. We got a mortal wound or two off. I actually got them more off and put four mortal wounds onto him. And then Doom charged in. The boat dropped his bombs. The bombs missed. They went sailing past Doom's head as he came flying in with the mighty Thunder Mace. It's always the Thunder Mace. Putting seven wounds through onto that boat, exploding it and taking it out. Revenge for Doom is mine but um so end of my turn i'm going to score another two points so 14 to 10 two objectives left on the board so it doesn't matter what happens anywhere else i'm going to win but andrew's like we're not calling the game there frank's like the game's not over doom's gonna die uh oh so uh <laughs> we've got in a, a strafing at the last gun hauler seeing his friend go down in a smile in a, in a smoking heap and is coming in for a strafing run and uh, the tyrant's like You'll never get me alive. And I really wish so much that I had have just charged into here now. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you charged into there. That would have been great. But no, I'm an idiot. Carried away and here I am. So let's go, gun hauler. Last game. Your friend took out Doom. This turn. Let's see if, uh, if you can take out my new tyrant. So bring it. Let's go. Bring it. Shoot me. Yeah, well, no, see what I've happens. Got, I've got everything over here still. Man. Oh my god, there's nothing over there that's going to do anything. Oh yeah, I could. Guys, you know when you when you say something like, "Those guys can never do anything." Look how far away they are. <laughs> well, um, he's like, "No, no, I could get my run, my run and charge pair off, spend a command point, run them six, and then make a charge." And I'm like, "That's an eleven inch charge. That's never going to work." Okay, I was like, "So roll me two dice, and if you get an 11, Right, you can like have the charge. You you can go back and do all that stuff because otherwise you're wasting time. He rolled two dice and got a twelve. I couldn't believe it. So and then so he goes back and measures it, spends the command point, moves him ten, and yep, sure enough, gets the charge in. So we got to play it out now. So the unhauler came in, blasting, strafing run, and uh, didn't do anything. I made my save because I am a fate seeker, and then uh, came in, dropped the bombs once again, agile as a cat. This tyrant is missed me with the bombs, and now uh, everyone's charged in. So. He's charged in and um, you spent that command point to do your thing, didn't you? So what are you going to do now? You're going to fight me. You're going to yeah, fight yeah. me with those half guard. Yeah, those half guard are All taking, right. taking him out. Four half guard and uh, what prayer have you got left this round? You've only got one left, right? Uh, yeah, but it's, uh, I can give them, I could give them plus one to hit with their throwing axes. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, let's fight me, man. Let's go. Half guard berserkers. What have you got? Uh, Need uh, what are these? two attacks each. Uh, two attacks each plus a champion. So nine dice, hitting me on a three. Yep, threes and threes. Okay. Well, that's a good roll. Uh, you might not be long for this world, Tyre. But if you do survive, that is six. Six. Rend one. Two six and rend one. Oh, I need a four. And uh, look at that. Save. No, it did not save enough. So that is it. The tyrant is dead. I shouldn't have mouthed off like that, but at least you're going to Valhalla. So that's it, folks. That's where we're going to end it. Revenge is the fire slayers, but revenge is mine because I beat fire slayers with ogres. So um, we have to have a rematch now. Yeah. You beat my stone horns, but my fat boys beat your skinny boys. Because you ran away like a coward. Because I ran away like a cunning 
I am cunning and brutal. Okay. That's what the gut busters are. I thought you guys were hungry. I will. You I, ran away from the smorgasbord. You know what tastes best? Victory. <laughs> Until next time, folks. That's it. Ciao, grazie, arrivederci. All right, folks. So just a quick little after action report. And um, geez, that was a great game. So Frank, why don't you take it away, mate? And um, uh, what were your thoughts about that game? How it went, what happened, good and bad, things like that. Well, as the beginning, I think I counted uh, my chickens before they hatched and going, I'm up, I'm holding objectives, I'm keeping him in combat, dragging stuff in. And then he started running away and I went, oh no, yeah. he's going to start capturing objective points. And as soon as he started doing that, I was yeah. trying to chase him around the board, which fire slayers can't do, which is the main reason I've got two gun, gun haulers. So I can just, if you try to outrun me, the gun haulers will reposition, but... Yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't rolling too hot with their shooting, yep. which kind of hurt a bit. Yep, a little bit. But uh, how did you find my uh, 20 block class guard reservers? Well, for 400 points. I had a dedicated plan for how to take these guys out this game, and that was to. I really wanted my Doom bots up front to charge in and then do exactly what I did with the blue balls, which is just charge in, tag with one guy so that you could only get a few attacks onto him and then use the six inch pile in. So you do your initial attack, um, clear the doom bots, and then, um, see even then when I was thinking, I wasn't thinking that you could follow. Yeah, I was, but um, but in my turn that is, I'd do that. So I'd charge in my doom bots, and then charge in with the, the, the big, the blue balls, tag them, and then six inch pile in once you clear the doom bots. That's my plan. And I thought fully buffed up gluttons, like maybe you know especially yeah. if i get rib cracker or some stuff like that off turns out i did get rib cracker off and greasy deluge and my command ability to reroll wounds and instead of just fighting with doom bots i was able to fight with basically 24 ogre buttons and um i still kind of lost that fight yes like you had to call in reinforcements <laughs> yeah and then the iron guts came in and and, and cleaned them up at the end but it was kind of like Holy crap, I have to throw so much into them to kill them. Um, and I knew that was a bit of a mistake because against Fire Slayers, I should just try and play the objective game. Yes, right? definitely. Like, you got slower movement and I could have dispelled the Prismatic Palisade and then reset it up and kept trying to block you. But at the same time, like, this is the first time I've beat Fire Slayers. I've always lost to them. And I wanted to kill that unit. Yeah, well, it's... Some people have two of those units. Yeah, it's, it's oh unfortunate because uh, in the combo that I'm running, You've got the Battlesmith, which gives them a plus one save just because. It yeah. just happens. Yeah. And then you can put the Prayer of Ash on them yeah. that goes off on a four yeah, or that's, three if you're both forged. Yeah. And suddenly all your negatives to my save yeah. are just erased. It goes yeah. back to normal. See, that's 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 like, I mean, that's just what they are. They're just so hard to, to kill. But, um, you know, with my stone horns, like I had three stone horns into that one unit last time. And so your attacks were divided, but... Those six mortal wounds, eight mortal wounds, if they go through against my stone ones, they're like, they're crippling. They're so yeah. strong. But when it's just six or eight mortal wounds against the gluttons, you lose two ogres and you kind of like, yeah. that doesn't hurt. Like the, and then so if you can spread their attacks against multiple units, six mortal wounds on one unit, six on another, all of a sudden their, their damage output's not really that good. Yeah. Well, you but if you could concentrate all of that onto one unit and double attack pile in with it, it'd be murderous. Yeah, well, you, you saw when you took out 24 wounds, so 12 of my models, yeah. and I took out six of yours, it equated to the same amount of wounds, but yeah. you just had to have so many more bodies on the objective. It equated, it, it equated to the same amount of wounds, except I had twice the amount of my points in there to do yeah. it. Yeah, so... Um, it's yeah, it's, a na it's an absolutely nasty combo to come up against if you don't have shooting or magic to snipe off heroes. Off those heroes, yeah. And then it was 10 inches. And you have three heroes yeah. scoring you, you know what I mean? So I was yeah, like, I have to yeah. do all of those wounds. That's a lot of, of shooting and sniping wounds. Like, unless you KO or something, it's well, a bit... And that's the entire reason I take the Maker Drop. Because yeah. as I, if you take him on foot, you have to kill, what, three heroes and five wounds apiece. Yeah, the Magma Drop, like, you're always focusing your tax on everything else. Yeah. You really got to take the magma drop out, but negative one to wound has such a huge impact. That bubble takes them out. But then you also like, well, it's got 12 wounds and you know, four up saves. So if I want to kill that, I need to, like I need to send my iron guts into it. And if I do that and I attack my iron guts and kill it, which I could do, 
then that means your half guard that's still sitting there just going to get their full strength into whatever. Yeah. And you're like, it's oh my God. Multiple, and you, you need to shoot threats. that as well. It's so. multiple threats to deal yeah. with. I've got the roaming threat of two gun holders yeah. that are just going to disappear and reappear somewhere on the board. Yeah. I mean, a giant blob of half guard berserkers and then that negative one to wound buff, which yeah. it's... Like, I've played against like OBR with the like, spam of their Mortec Guard. They get all these bonuses to hit, twos, exploding fives, rah, yeah. rah, 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 rah. But they're base four wound. Yeah. So when you put them to five and six, mm. it you laugh at the Mortec Guard because they're not doing half the damage that yeah. they normally would. Mm. And you then just, your half guard just kind of turn around and you're just rolling for sixes in every six. That's two two models of their Mortec Guard at all. I mean, how good was this Tyrant though? Yeah. Charged in, clubbed your um, club or you clubbed your Grimwrath. Yeah, that. that Grimwrath kind of failed on finished, his hit rolls. Finished off your Volkites, and then Death got revenge on Doom. And, he, he, um, did, he did work this game, but uh, oh, Thunder Mace! That was three turns of combat at seven damage each. Few bit of shooting. And I, half the time I didn't even roll for the skewer because the thing was dead. Everything the was thunder dead mace, by the so. time the mace killed it. Yeah. yeah, I want to tool him up and see if that works. But um, no, that that was excellent. And you know, I knew it at that start when I was like, no, I just want to kill this unit. I just wanted to make a point. And then I and then I thought I'm going to lose the game to try and prove so a point prove and kill point. it. And then it ended up that I killed the unit and won the game. So I guess that. Yeah, makes so it was it like over a thousand points in models, not counting the models that did all their. Debuffs yeah. to kill 400 points of my army. Yeah, it's four, yeah, 800 points of ogre gluttons and 220 points of iron guts, two butchers, and then all the like buffs from the elite, like from the um, blood gullet and stuff like that. Command points to reroll wounds, yeah, like to, th at least three of those to take to take out 400 points yeah. of unit. They're half, but, half guard are extremely undercosted. Right, but we got to have a rematch. Yes. All right, third time lucky. All right, thanks, mate. Oh, and remember, leave a comment uh, to go on the draw to win the jumper and um, everything's sweet. Thanks, guys. Bye.